Now, we'll discuss about the hold of peritoneum in relation to liver. This is liver. This is anterior surface of liver you have seen. This is Here is position of this is position of the hold of the peritoneum. This is falci form ligament. This is falci form ligament. Here is fold of the peritoneum, and if this fold contains para umbilical vein and obliterated left umbilical vein, that is ligamentum teres. This is obliterated left umbilical vein, that is ligamentum teres, and para umbilical vein. So it, it has ligamentum teres and paraumbilical vein in this fold and this fold from here to here this this is falciform ligament this falciform ligament is fold of the peritoneum if you turn the lever like this you'll find posterior surface here Here is portion of the gallbladder. This is fissa for, fissa for ligamentum teres. So here you can see this fold of the peritoneum forms. This is left triangular ligament. Here is this is right triangular ligament. This is right triangular ligament. And here is superior coronary ligament, superior coronary ligament. And this is inferior coronary ligament. So these ligaments form in relation to the peritoneum. These are hold of the peritoneum. Now, next structure is this stomach. Relation to the stomach, you can see here. This is pylorus. This is first two centimeter of the duodenum. This is duodenum. This is fold of the peritoneum. This is fold of the peritoneum. This fold is, you can see, here is liver is turned upward. This fold is here. This is margin of the porta hepatis. This is fissure for ligamentum venosum. So this is fissure for ligamentum venosum. This is margin attached with the porta hepatis. And this is here, it is free margin of the lesser momentum. This is free margin of lesser momentum, and this is greater momentum. So, this is greater momentum. If you see greater momentum, upper cutting a section, here is position of the stomach. This is lesser momentum. This is greater momentum. This greater momentum, this is first layer of the greater momentum. It forms fourth layer. And this is second layer of lesser momentum. Here it covers the stomach from posterior side. Then it becomes second layer of the greater momentum. Then it becomes third layer of the greater momentum. Greater momentum and it joins with this 
and this is lesser sac this is lesser sac so this is lesser sac and this is first layer this is first layer this is second this is third layer this is fourth layer of the retromantle gradually these four layers fuse and here this fourth layer continue with the here is position of the transverse colon this is transverse mesocolon this is transverse mesocolon is formed this is transverse colon so this is greater momentum this is lesser momentum this is lesser momentum this is greater momentum here is position of the spleen this is gastrospheric ligament here is gastrophilic ligament in relation to diaphragm so the fold of the peritoneum here for lesser momentum this is greater momentum in greater momentum here it contains abundant amount of the fat and also it has patches of the macrophages here small patches of the macrophages these are known as milky spot these macrophages controls the infection at the site of infection these macrophages reach it and the seal that area and the prevent further in, uh, increasing of the infection that's why this this is known as greater momentum is known as polish man of the abdomen this is polish man of abdomen and it contains here between first and second layer this layer it contains right and left this is right and this left gastroepiploic artery here in lesser momentum here is left gastric this is right gastric artery and lymphatics and right and left vein gastric veins here is position of this is free margin of lesser momentum here is portal vein here is hepatic artery here is hepatic artery and here is bile duct this is position of the bile duct so this in free margin these three structures are present hepatic artery bile duct and portal vein this is hepatic artery and this lesser momentum can be divided into two part that is hepatogastric ligament from here to here this part this is hepatogastric ligament from liver to lesser curvature of the stomach up to this level this is hepatogastric ligament and this part which covers the first two centimeter of the duodenum that is hepatodudinal ligament so this is hepatogastric and this is hepatodudinal ligament this lesser momentum can be divided into two parts so this is all about the part 2 thank you